Oh, man. Um, probably one of the hardest parts about any of this stuff that's going on that you see is, is I guess, watching the Catman do what the Catman does. And the Catman does a lot of suspect stuff. How many of you guys... Uh, you know the video out there, and I said this is going to be the last time I address this, especially on this channel. So you guys enjoy it. This is going to be like a pre-Friday night fuckery, and the Friday night fuckery is normally over there on the Voltron Network. But I want to show you guys something. Who remembers this? Have you ever seen this right here? Hold on a second. And y'all, if, if you got a, if you got a weak stomach, if you got a weak stomach, then, um, I'm gonna just show y'all this. Let's see if I can find it. Y'all, everybody know what shit I'm talking about. Y'all, I'm having a hard time doing this because I can't stop laughing. I couldn't believe it when somebody sent this to me. And y'all, this is not, um, first off, I want to give all the people who don't know this scene. I'm going to show you guys something. You just, just watch it. I can't play the music, but let's see. I won't be able to really play the music, but I want you to say that scene. So what he doing is he putting on makeup. He putting. Wait a minute, that's not right. Oh hell, that's not right. They gave me the wrong one. Why they being stupid? People are ignorant. There you go. Then mind you, check him out. He done did, he did the tuck and everything. He did the tuck and everything. He did the tuck. Yo, he did the tuck and everything. Now, now, what would you, now you know, the, the nigga did this and he got paid to do it, right? He, he got paid to do it. Buffalo Bill got paid to do it. Well, let me tell y'all something that Nut Ward did, and this is not made up. This is not his head put on somebody else's body. No, it's, it's, it's none of that. This is what this man did. And I want y'all just to take a look because I'm not making this up. I didn't Photoshop this. He He's going to have to answer for this. He got to answer for this. I don't know what made him do this. I got the footage. I don't know what made him do this. Styles told me this wasn't true. Styles, I got the footage. Styles, do you have an answer to this? No. So here we go. There you go, Jesse. This shit is out of line. Why would he do this? Why well, seriously, Styles, if you could, please, you're not blocked. If you could come in the comment section and tell us, why did you do this? I mean, we don't understand this. We perplexed right now, sir. We don't know what you're doing. I don't understand any of this. I am perplexed. Please, someone tell me, why is he doing this? Fellas out there, if you can answer the question, are there any of you guys out there who would do this? Whether as a joke or a bet or any of that, would you do this? But but let's do the main thing. Would you do this shit for free? Would you get online to do what you're doing right now? He doing it. He doing it. <laughs> ah, this is hilarious. This fruity feline. Somebody gotta get this fruity feline. He is doing it. 
He is doing it. He took. He did it himself. <laughs> I'm not making this up. This fruity feline. He yeah. He said, "Would you fuck me? I'd fuck me." Look at this fruity feline. God, dog, there's nothing he can say to me. What is this? This is his natural element. I, I ain't go. I ain't trying to be funny, y'all. But can't y'all see that he's he's more comfortable like that? Look at him, how happy he look. Why don't he just? <laughs> Why don't they just come out of the closet? He is comfortable as shit. Now somebody, now I want to hear what people got to say. Be honest. He should never be that comfortable. Be honest. Should he ever be that comfortable doing what he's doing? Would any of you be that comfortable? Doing what he's doing. It's all I want to know. I just want to know who who else would fit. Yeah, this coppery deliciousness. If y'all up in here, click the like button. That's the least you could do for this 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 grade A entertainment that you're getting. Click the like. He's being himself. He's being him right now. This is this is not foreign to him. You know what? This is why he's not arguing and yelling and screaming. He's happy. This is where he wants to be. This is what he enjoys. This is this is who he is. Now I'll let y'all hear the original. <laughs> Listen to the lyrics. Penis got me. Penis got me. Ooh. Penis got me moaning. Listen to the lyrics. Stick that big D in my ass. Come gang, come shot. Big dick, big come stay. Who's straight? No way. Penis game, check my mood, eh? Square, square. Penis got me booty up. Like it rub. Double pump, big D. Can get enough. Been enough, been a cup. Drink it up. Suck it till the death bus come shot. Penis got me fuck on my day ones. Been it never giving dick as I take one. Want that penis, baby, only the shame ones. He ain't put me back when he was straight, huh? Yeah, you know I do my dance on the dick. Take a shit, come drip. Suck his dick, let it be shit. Let it go. Rub it up, beat me over, then he fuck my butt. That drippy, 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 I ain't straight, are you straight, nigga? Turn you gay, nigga. Dick so good, make my booty jump, nigga. All I do is fuck, nigga. Say I suck, niggas. Come gang, suck you up, nigga. Bet you not quicker. Stick that big D in my ass. Come gang, come shot. Big dick, big come stay. Who's straight? No way. Penis game, check my mood, egg. Square, square. Penis got me booty up. Like it rub. Double pump, big. It's a rap. Somebody call the fight. It's just done. There's nothing he can say after this. There's nothing you can say after this. It's done. This is why you won't see any more of these on this channel on the live anymore. You won't say it. Oh my God. Yo. Now, now mind you, Oh my God, no. Let me, let me see if I can find that one where he talked about that guy. I just gotta see if I can find that one where he talked about that guy. That shit got me funny as shit. I don't care how many times they play this shit, it's hilarious. Listen, this is not war talking. I'll go to Atlanta four days and in that four days he's describing walking in on his girl getting fucked by another man y'all why he telling that lie that I walked in on my girl I'm gonna let you hear from his own mouth and it's just that you know I don't make this shit up 
I find out that this woman has an entire another life that she's living. I didn't believe the shit. I went to the address. I go to the door. I kick the door in. She's in there with this dude. The dude has my clothes. They have my furniture in this house. I've seen this cat before. When the dude sees me, he stands up. I'm 6'4". I'm in decent shape now. At the time, this dude was about 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, if, if he was an inch. I'll give him about 270, 280. The nigga looked like he was chiseled from marble. I'm no parts of a homosexual. Pause. This was a fucking gorgeous man. So this man was like perfection. I'm talking about this dude was perfection. I'm talking about completely perfect body. You know what I'm saying? He had this like this this bugged out olive, you know what I'm saying, complexion. I'm talking about he was a very handsome guy, man. You know what I'm saying? Pause. Curly fucking hair, nice fucking um, facial features, real nice, trimmed up, cleaned up shit, in real good shape. Standing there in his motherfucking boxer briefs, dude. And I'm not gonna front, and I'm not, I'm not to take a break behind this. This dude, low that he holding in this motherfucking boxer brief, and my bitch was in a motherfucking necklace, Jay, I ain't never seen before. And all I could think was, this dude been fucking the shit out your bitch. And I lost my mind. Dude was huge. Tall, handsome guy. And as a man, I can be honest and say, like, you know, we don't want to talk about that shit. But when you're looking at a dude, you don't have that tunnel vision. You get that wide lens. So you're looking at everything. You're looking at this, how this nigga look, his face, his hair how handsome he is, the shape he in. Yeah, you ain't no no gay shit like, this nigga got a motherfucking huge goddamn bulge here, some boxer briefs on some sexy shit. If it sound gay, it's gay. And you gotta say no homo. They heard you knocking on the door. He probably just got through fucking your bitch. I'm with the monster that's under my bed. Bruh. <laughs> look at your girl. She got a look that she ain't never had before. An outfit on you ain't never seen before. Like you a whole nother sexy bitch for this nigga, huh? I went to hungry for I went to bed hungry for this bitch. I can't count how many times. I broke myself down to give this bitch every motherfucking thing that she wanted. And that shit made me start crying like I done did everything for you. I've been with you five years. Now I wanna just ask the question. I just want to ask the question from the audience. If I can get an answer from y'all, it would be great. If I can't, then I understand. I just want to know from y'all. Serious, serious business. Square business. If you told this story, would you ever make up a story about somebody else and try to diss them? Remember, he don't have me in that talking like this. He don't have no video of the chick talking like this. He don't have no chick or nobody talking like this. But... He talking like this. Would you come out and say anything to anybody ever if you know you said this? Would you talk about anybody cheat? Would you laugh at anything that happened to anyone? He said, I don't know whether she cheated on you or not. I just know the bitch ain't with you. Well, that bitch ain't with you. Is this supposed to be a joke or something? So every bitch I've ever been with is supposed to still be with me. But I just want to know. Ladies, if you heard that your man had described any sex scene like this, where he walked in on another man, this dude is literally described. I've never heard a woman describe a man like this. For those who missed it, we got to hear it again. I'll go to Atlanta. Four days. And in that four days, I find out that this woman has an entire another life that she's living. I didn't believe the shit. <laughs> I went 
He went to the address. To the address. I go to the door. He went to the door. I kicked the door in. He kicked the door in. She's in there with this dude. Here you go. The dude has my clothes. They have my furniture in this house. I've seen this cat before. When dude sees me, he stands up. <laughs> I'm 6'4". I'm in decent shape now. At the time, <laughs> this dude was about 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, mm. if, if he was an inch. I'll give him about two seconds. What does that even mean? This dude was like six foot, six seven, if he was an inch. What the fuck does that mean? 280. The nigga looked like he was chiseled from marble. I'm no parts of a homosexual. Pause. This was a fucking gorgeous man. I'm talking about this man was like perfection. I'm talking about this dude was perfection. I'm talking about completely perfect body. You know what I'm saying? He had this like this this bugged out olive, you know what I'm saying, complexion. And I'm talking about he was a very handsome guy, man. You know what I'm saying? Aww. Curly fucking hair, nice fucking um facial features, real nice trimmed up, cleaned up shit, in real good shape. Standing there in his motherfucking boxer briefs, dude. And I'm not gonna front and I'm not I might take a break behind this. This dude. Y'all heard this nigga say, I'm about to take a break behind this. He took a deep breath and everything. Come on, Styles. God, no, there was no reason for this. You walked in on this nigga, and you walked in on your girl. Chief, first off, you kicked in the door, waving the 4 4. All you heard was, Papa don't fuck him no more. You walked in the door, saw your girl with another man in a house that you knew nothing about she had. So that means you were stalking this bitch. She came in, you said had your clothes, the dude was wearing your clothes. <laughs> but somehow with all that going on, you got tunnel vision for the dude? Uh, just so we make sure we understand each other. Somehow with all this going on, you got tunnel vision for the dude. With all of this going on, you walked inside and got tunnel vision. Saw his body. You got tunnel vision. Didn't know if you wanted to fight or lick him. Saw his load. And got tunnel vision. <laughs> you got tunnel vision. You are disgusting, Styles. How would you describe this man like this? I've never heard anyone describe a dude like this. What the shit? I just gotta hear this again. The, the, the description of this dude is insane. I've seen this cat before. Bet you have. When dude sees me, he stands up. I'm 6'4". I'm in decent shape now. Yep. At the time, this dude was about 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, if, if he was an inch. <laughs> I'll give him about 270, 280. The nigga looked like he was chiseled from marble. I have no part. Hey, uh, Tone Clark, you hope Styles see me somewhere and slap the shit out of me? Why? Because of what he said online? Let me ask you a question, bro. Are uh, you hoping this man slapped me because you can't believe that he made a lie about my uh, dating situation and I told the truth about his? Is that why you hope he slapped me, Tone Clark? Tone Clark, if he was going to slap me, why he got to wait to see me somewhere in public? He could just come see me. But I'm just still confused at why you think he should slap me because I'm playing back his own words. I'm a hateful individual because I'm paying, I'm playing back his own words, right? So him talking about my life and being wrong on every account is fine. Me actually playing his own words back, well, that me that deserves me to get slapped, right, Tone Clark? Well, you at Tone. Tone, I'm waiting on your response, bro. Now, I'm confused at why I would end up getting slapped, but what he said about me yesterday is not slap worthy. 
So, okay, let me ask you. Yeah, he must be one of them gay ones. So you had no problem with all the stuff he was saying about Michi. That was fine. You had no, no problem with all the stuff he was saying about Lady La. That was fine. So when he was going in on women who weren't bothering him, that was fine. Is that what you're saying? That, like, you don't want him to get slapped by going in on women who weren't bothering him. But my response to him is slap worthy. And my response to him isn't to say anything except let him speak for himself. Hey, ladies, y'all better, um, better watch out for these dudes. They steadily taking up for dudes and watching, watching y'all get thrown on the bus. Uh, Tone Clark, that's not true. He made a video about me today. Sorry, he talked about me today. He made a whole uh, like three-hour live, took that down. I'm, I don't understand that. Right, Michi, all that shit he said about you, hey, you gonna slap him when you see him? Like, I don't understand the logic. This man in here taking over this dude, but yeah, this, this sound like whole speech. Uh, Tone, I'm, I'm just curious. Tone, he actually did make a video about me, took that down this morning, then he put up another short one still talking about me. Did you not see that, sir? Tone? Tone, did you not see it? Did you not hear it? Michi, you know what was funny? He went from telling you that you um, downgraded with me to now he's telling me that I downgraded with you. I don't know if you heard him today. I mean, nigga, you supposed to have all that money and all that uh, notoriety, and that's the bitch you got? That's the best you could do? That's what he said. So which is it? Did you... Lower your luster dealing with that old uh, black ass uh, gator mouth. That's what he said at first. So at first you lowered your luster. At first it was you went down to the basement. Now it's I got money and notoriety and you the one I chose. So which one is it? But I'm still waiting on Tone. Tone, where you at, man? Tone, we having a really good conversation, bro. Bro. Uh, Compton Ben, go ahead and buy some tickets to the Crispy Show in D.C. Why you got to tell me about it? Why don't you just buy them, sir? You just buy them, Compton Ben. Go ahead and buy it to the Crispy Show. Uh, so, Tone Clark, let me ask you something. Did you hear him talk about Lady La and Michi and they had said nothing about him? Did, did you Did you see that, Tone Clark? Tone Clark, would you like to have a discussion? I'll talk to you, bro. Because I'm just really curious that you came over here and wish that a man who refuses to leave me alone would slap me because I reply to him with his own words. As we wait, though, let's get back to this wonderful video that Styles made himself. Parts of a homosexual. Pause. This was a fucking gorgeous man. So this man was like perfection. I'm talking about this dude was perfection. I'm talking about completely perfect body. You know what I'm saying? He had this like this this bugged out olive, you know what I'm saying, complexion. And I'm talking about he was a I gotta bitch. hear it again. This dude was about six six shape now. At the top. I'm six four. I'm in decent shape now. At the time. This dude was about six 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 seven. If if he was an inch, I'll give him about 270, 280. <laughs> the nigga looked like he was chiseled from marble. I'm no parts of a homosexual. Pause. This was a fucking gorgeous man. I'm talking about this man was like perfection. I'm talking about this dude was perfection. I'm talking about completely perfect body. You know what I'm saying? He had this like this this bugged out olive, you know what I'm saying, complexion. And I'm talking about he was a very handsome guy, man. You know what I'm saying? Pause. Curly fucking hair, nice fucking um facial features, real nice, trimmed up, cleaned up shit, in real good shape. Standing there in his motherfucking boxer briefs, dude. And I'm not gonna front, and I'm not I'm not take a break behind this. This dude low that he holding in this motherfucking boxer brief and my bitch was in a motherfucking necklace Jay, I ain't never seen before and all I could think was this dude been fucking the shit out your bitch 
and I lost my mind. Dude was huge, tall, handsome guy. And as a man, I can be honest and say, like, you know, we don't want to talk about that shit. But when you're looking at a dude, you don't have that tunnel vision. You get that wide lens. So you're looking at everything. You're looking at this, how this nigga look, his face, his hair, how handsome he is, the shape he in. Now you ain't no no gay shit. Like, this nigga got a motherfucking huge goddamn bullshit, some boxer briefs on some sexy shit. If you sound gay, it's gay. And you gotta say no homo. They heard you knocking on the door. He probably just got through fucking your bitch. I'm <laughs> friends with the monster that's under my bed. Bruh. You look at your girl. She got a look that she ain't never had before. An outfit on you ain't never seen before. Like, you a whole nother sexy bitch for this nigga, huh? I went to hungry for. I went to bed hungry for this bitch. I can't count how many times. I broke myself down to give this bitch every motherfucking thing that she wanted. And that shit made me start crying like, I done did everything for you, I've been with you five years. And I just turned around and I lost my mind on her. And I left. Yo, somebody said, is this real? Yes, this real. You, can't, you thought somebody just made his voice up? You, th you yes, it's real. Uh, on a programming note, uh, Styles, uh, this is a sponsor. Styles is sponsoring this uh, segment of the show, and uh, he has a new line of shoes coming out for women. They are seven-inch heels, and they're called Stylettos. The new stylettos it will make you feel more of a woman than even oh, any, any other woman. It is for trannies and manly men, women. Stylettos. You can't make this shit up. I didn't make this up. I, I'm not that good of a, listen, I'm not that good. I'm not that good. I couldn't make this up. This is, this is all him. I didn't make him do this. Oh, no. got me moaning. I didn't make him do this. He's representing the LGBTQ. My man Styles with his new video and his new song. Penis got me moaning. Stick it on this shit. Big dick, big come stay. Who's straight? No way. Penis game, check my mood. A eh? squirt, squirt. Penis got me booty up. Lock it up. Double pump, big dick. Can't get enough. Been enough, been a cup. Drink it up. Suck it till the death bus. Come shot. Penis got me fuck on my day ones. Been in never giving dick as I take one. What that penis, baby? Only the shame ones. He ain't fuck me back when he was straight up. Yeah, you know I do my dance on the dick. Take a shit, come drip. Suck his dick, let that dick tip. Nut it up, rub it up, beat me over, then he fuck my butt. That drippy, 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 drippy on the dick tip till he ski hard. Huh? Riding academics, bet his dick come. Huh? If you really wanna shit, DJ come, Drama. Get me, uh, it was really nice, morning loud, but I'll see ya. I'm a ski. I pray to God that I'm drinking with Another my one, feet. DJ I Kelly. Pray to God that that penis go deep. Praying that your main nigga put his DJ Toss Salad. Toss, 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 toss salad. Hands on me. We want that shit, DJ Toss Salad. Sell it, sell it, sell it, sell it. DJ Toss Salad. Penis got me. He the best. Penis got me moaning. Stick that big D in my ass. Come gang, come shot. Big, 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 come stay. Who's straight? No way. Penis game, check my mood, eh? Stay straight. Penis got me booty up. Lock it up. Double pump, big D. Can't get enough. Been enough, been a cup. Check it up. Check it up. Come shot. Penis got me. Fuck on my day ones. 
giving and never giving, dick as I take one. Want that penis, baby, only the shame ones. He ain't fuck me back when he was straight up. Yeah, you know I do my dance on the dick. Take a shit, come drip. Suck his dick with a big chip, nut it up. Rub it up, beat me over, then he fuck my butt. That drippy, 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 nut it up. Tip till he ski, huh? Riding academics, bet his dick come, huh? If you really wanna shoot, come look your knee up. Uh. It was really nice, moaning loud, but I see ya. Uh. I'm a skeet. I pray to God that I'm drinking with my feet. I pray to God that that penis go deep. Ran out your main nigga, put his hands on me. He used to cut my booty rough, now he. <laughs> clapping on my cheek. I ain't straight, are you straight, nigga? Turn you gay, nigga. Dick so good, make my booty jump, nigga. All I do is fuck, niggas, and I suck, niggas. Come gang, suck you up, nigga. Bet you not quicker. Stick that big D in my ass. Come gang, come shot. Big dick, big, come stay. Who's straight? No way. In this game, check my mood, eh? Squirt, squirt. Penis got me booty up. Listen, Styles, I know you're watching. Why would you do this? Serious business. Styles, go ahead and make the video and tell them that I'm lying. Tell them that I photoshopped your head on the, and this whole body in that whole room that they see you in every day. Tell them I did that. Go ahead and tell them I did that. Why would, I just want to know. You, we, you know you're watching. You got 1,500 people here enjoying this. Would you just explain to us why you did this? Well, why did you do this homage to Buffalo Bill? Is there a reason? This is how we want to know. I'm just, I'm just curious. Again, you tried to say that I walked in on a girl getting fucked, but you actually walked in on a girl getting fucked. You tried to say that I'm gay, but you actually are doing gay shit. You ain't got that video of me doing no shit like this. I did some shit, but I never did shit like this. Might have lost a bitch, but I never lost one like this. Said some suspect before, but I never said none like this. I've done lots of dirt, but dog, I've never done none like this. You know that this is shady. And you know, you are not a man. No, you're not. Walking around with that gay outfit on, we know. I'm just asking. I done done some shit, but I ain't never done no shit like this. This nigga's extra fruity for the extra long haul. Extra fruity trying to get up in your drawers cause this nigga's extra. He's extra straight fruity cause he's extra, extra, extra straight gay. Nigga extra fruity for the extra long haul. Extra fruity trying to get up in your drawers cause this nigga's extra. He extra straight fruity cause he extra, extra, extra straight gay. <laughs> I just want to know, why would you do this? Right, he cruising the Hershey Highway. Cruising the Hershey Highway. Turn around, he's a clown. You know he doing the Duke shoot boogie. That nigga doing the Duke shoot boogie. He's a clown, turn around, bend him down, Duke shoot boogie. Why are you doing the Duke shoot boogie?
<laughs> I just want to know why. Why would you do this to yourself, sir? I just want to hear him describe that man again. This is the funniest shit I've ever heard. I'll go to Atlanta. Four days. And in that four days, I find out that this woman has an entire another life that she's living. I didn't believe the shit. But bet you didn't. I went to the address. Yep. I yes, go to the door. Yep. I kick the door in. Yep. She's in there with this dude. Yep. The dude has my clothes. Mm. They have my furniture in this house. I've seen this cat before. When the dude sees me, he stands up. I'm 6'4". I'm in decent shape now. <laughs> At the time, this dude was about 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, if, if he was an inch. I'll give him about 270, 280. The nigga looked like he was chiseled <laughs> from marble. I have no parts of a homosexual. Pause. This was a fucking gorgeous man. So this man was like perfection. I'm talking about this dude was perfection. I'm talking about completely perfect body. You know what I'm He had this like this, this broke out again. perfection. It was like perfection. So I'm black and crispy. Now, now, I want y'all to hear me. Hear this. I'm black and crispy and ugly, which I don't understand why my looks is uh, a part of his everyday dialogue. I get it if you just say it in passing and you move the fuck on. Nope. This nigga described my clothes. He said I can't dress. He said all kind of shit. Now, I want you to understand. He also said, now he's talking shit about Michi. Uh, call her Patrick Stars. Uh, and he was talking about Lady La. Have y'all noticed he has real harsh criticism for the looks of women, but he'll actually will compliment a dude. How many of y'all have noticed that? And somebody tell me if I'm lying, cause I'm, tr I'm trying not to make, the Jones is funny when it's true. So anybody in the comment section can tell me if I'm lying. He literally talks real harshly about the women, women's looks, every woman. He will give a man a compliment though on his looks. He's given more men compliments on their looks than he has women. Every woman is just horrible looking. So he want to talk about how Lady La looked like a man, but how this man looks perfect. Let, let, it, let it sink in for a second. He said, Lady La looked like a man, but this man who wasn't trying to dress up like a woman, who literally was trying to look like a man. He then turned around and said, this man was perfect. How do you describe an individual that you know as a female as looking like a man and then describe a man that looks like a man as perfect? I'm just saying, can anybody make that make sense? How do you describe a woman who you say favors a man, but you know she is a woman and have that problematic? But this dude who you know is a dude who's going out of his way to look like a man, you described him as perfect problematic it's just my opinion I don't know I'd find that problematic let's hear him again gorgeous man Gor was, uh, he said the man was gorgeous who describes a man as gorgeous I didn't even pay that any attention he said the man was gorgeous Pause. this was a fucking gorgeous man so this man was like Perfection. I'm talking about this dude was perfection. I'm talking about completely perfect body. You know what I'm saying? He had this like this this bugged out olive, you know what I'm saying, complexion. You know what I'm talking about he was a very handsome guy, man. You know what I'm saying? Pause. Curly fucking hair, nice fucking um facial features, real nice, trimmed up, cleaned up shit, in real good shape. Standing there in his motherfucking boxer briefs, dude. And I'm not gonna front, and I'm not. I'm not take a break behind this. This dude, low that he holding in this motherfucking boxer briefs. And my bitch is in a motherfucking negligee. I ain't never seen before. And all I could think was, this dude been fucking the shit out your bitch.
the meat. Hey, I lost my mind. <laughs> a fucking gorgeous man. The meat. So this man was like we have perfection. The meat. We have I'm talking about this dude the meat. was perfection. I'm talking about the meat. completely perfect body. You know what I'm saying? He had this like this this bugged out olive, you know what I'm saying, complexion. And I'm talking about he was a very handsome guy, man. You know what I'm saying? Pause. Curly fucking hair, nice fucking um facial features, real nice, trimmed up, cleaned up shit, in real good shape. Jesus Standing Christ. There in his motherfucking boxer briefs. Jesus dude. Christ. And I'm not gonna front and I'm not I'm not take a break behind this. <laughs> this dude low that he holding in this motherfucking boxer brief and my bitch was in a motherfucking negligee I ain't never seen him before and all I could think was this dude been fucking the shit out your bitch and I lost my mind dude was huge tall handsome guy and as a man I can be honest and say look how many times he discussed the man's looks I want y'all to count how many times he compliments seriously i want somebody in the comments every time you hear him compliment the guy's looks put up the number of times you heard it. so when you hear once put one when you hear twice put twice and just keep it yes he said he had to take a motherfucking break i want y'all when we describe i want y'all to write down how many times we're in the comment section so we all can count together how many times this nigga described this man as, as a handsome beautiful uh, gorgeous how many times he compliments this guy who's fucking his girl y'all gotta understand what's happening he's he walked in on a dude fucking his girl and this is how he describes the situation so everybody understands what's happening when dude sees me he stands up i'm six four i'm in decent shape now at the time this dude was about six 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 seven. If if he was an inch, I'll give him about 270, 280. The nigga looked like he was chiseled from marble. I have no parts of a homosexual. One. Pause. This was a fucking gorgeous man. Two. So this man was like perfection. Three. I'm talking about this dude was perfection. I'm talking about four. Completely perfect body. Five. You know they had this like this this bugged out olive. You know what I'm saying? Complexion. You know what I'm Six. About? He was a very handsome guy, man. Seven. You know what I'm saying Pause. curly fucking hair, nice fucking Eight. um facial features. Nine. Real nice, trimmed up, cleaned up. Ten. In real good shape. Eleven. Standing there in his motherfucking boxer briefs, dude. And I'm not gonna front, and I'm not. I'm not take a break behind this. This dude low that he holding in this motherfucking boxer brief and my bitch was in a motherfucking neck that I had never seen before and all I could think was this dude been fucking the shit out your bitch 13 and I lost my mind <laughs> dude was huge 14 a handsome guy. 15 and as a man I can be honest and say like you know, we don't want to talk about that shit but when you're looking at a dude, you don't have that tunnel vision. You get that wide lens. So you're looking at everything. You're looking at this, how this nigga look, his face, his hair, how handsome he is, the shape he is. And you ain't no no gay shit. Like, this nigga got a motherfucking huge goddamn bulge. He has 17. Some on some sexy shit. 18. Gay is gay. And you got to say no homo. They heard you knocking on the door. He probably just got through fucking your bitch. <laughs> with the monster that's under my bed. Bruh. <laughs> you look at your girl. She got a look that she ain't never had before. An outfit on you ain't never seen before. Like, you a whole nother sexy bitch for this nigga, huh? I went to hungry for. I went to bed hungry for this bitch. I can't count how many times. I broke myself down to give this bitch every motherfucking thing that she wanted. And that shit made me start crying like, I done did everything for you, I've been with you five years. And I this nigga, he got 20 of these damn things out on him. 20, he, he got at least 20. We'd have to go back again and, and get a, like a forensic audio person to listen to how many he did. Is it went right now between 18 and 20 though.
God, dog. Oh, but everybody he's seen around me, he said was a sub. He said it yesterday, did he not? He said every girl that's ever been around me was a subpar bitch, was an ugly bitch. Well, I got Queen playing in the back. He said this was a perfect transition. Oh, no. Don't stop styles now. Don't stop styles, why? He having a good time. We got one more of these and then I'm out. I got to play it one more time. Styles, this is for you. The public has wanted to see this video again. Every is the most requested video on the line today. Styles. Turn you gay, nigga. Dick so good, make my booty jump, nigga. All I do is fuck, <laughs> niggas. I suck, niggas. Come gang, suck you up, nigga. Bet you not quicker. Stick that big D in my ass. Come gang, come shot. Big dick, big come stay. Who's straight? No way. Penis game, check my mood, eh? Squirt, squirt. Penis got me booty up. Lock it up. Double pump, big D. Can't get enough. Y'all, what's the. What we, for, for all the people out there, the new people out there, we got 1,600 people in the building. Some people got scared and ran away. <laughs> Y'all see that? It was over 1,600 people in the building. I played this shit and niggas ducked out. <laughs> they said what I walk in on. They say I'm good. How the numbers drop like that? How you click on it? Think about it. How you click on the live and walk in on that shit? And be like, oh hell no! Like if you wasn't here from the beginning and you just walked in on that last little piece right there, I see why a lot of people left. Like you, you like man, I like Tommy. Oh shit, it say Tommy live. Do you see me up here doing like this and that nigga doing this to that song? You know I'm good. I'm. You know what? I don't even like Tommy no more. You know some of y'all who might have. Seeing that if you didn't see the beginning or hear me right now, I'd understand why you went and joined them niggas that got a problem with me. <laughs> I honestly would. I'd understand if you was like, you know what? I'm going to go over there and join um, anybody talking shit about Tommy right now. Anybody trying to destroy his platform. Anybody trying to flag him down. Yeah, I'm, I'm down with that now. At first, I thought that was stupid. No, we need to flag his ass down. We need to go ahead and get him uh, get him out of here with the, 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 the degeneracy he's showing. He done did a complete 180, bending over at the end of the 180. He turned around and just bent over. That's I what happened when he did his 180. This is one of them times when you don't want somebody to do a complete 180. I did a 180. No, no, no. You got to do a 360, nigga. Turn, come on. No. Got to come back. No. You got to come back. 
You cannot turn around. No, you got you to do the rest of it. Just come on back. You'd be like Thor, Thor. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, almost there, almost, almost there, almost there. Almost there. Uh, all right, now finish. <laughs> Lord said that was him when he walked in. Like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> but I want to apologize for all the people who had to leave. Hopefully you guys will come back and understand what this was. Or hopefully you'll watch it from the beginning. <laughs> I don't, I don't know why he did this. I would love for him to explain it though. How many of you guys out there would like for him to explain this? Styles, we, we, we would really like for you to explain this. And we're not even, we, we, we wanna know why is it that you saw this man and realized that the nigga that was fucking your girl, he, he had. We have the meats. He had the meats. Arby's didn't invent this. And you want it. Arby's didn't, uh, Styles didn't invent the uh the homosexuality but he did take it to a new level styles is like the, like bsf to homosexuality you know bsf they didn't in basf they didn't invent the things that you buy but they make the things that you buy they didn't make the things that you buy but they make a lot of the things that you buy better that's what styles did the homosexuality he didn't make homosexuality but he makes a lot of the things that you find homosexual better. This has been, I, I, I don't get to watch uh, homosexual videos, but Styles, you actually made this very entertaining. The song that you put you put together, that was a nice song. It had a nice rhythm. It had a nice beat to it. Sound like you could hear a little bit of, you know, little, little, some bells in the back, you know, some tinker bells. The lyrics seemed to be well thought out. It seemed like it was something like it, it would it would give you a, the visual that you did not want, but you were one of those people. And we could tell by the way that you described the man that was sleeping with your girl when you walked in and caught him that you are you're very good with the descriptive words. So I gotta give you credit. Gotta give you credit for that. I'm not gonna even try to hate on you, uh, Styles. I see why that's why they call you Styles because you got a lot of styles. But we gotta admit, Styles, serious business. Out of all the videos y'all have seen of this nigga, be honest with me. Does that not look the happiest this man's ever been? Be honest. Out of every video, even Styles fans, I know y'all over here watching with your jackass because it's hard to watch his stuff because he take it right back down and he acts a fool in every video and he repeats the same damn thing. I don't know why this grown ass man just can't think of anything different to say. But let me ask y'all something. Does he not look the happiest right there? That's the happiest I've ever seen this nigga on a video. This is who he is. I don't know why he don't just. Why don't he just do this? Like, why doesn't he just come out and and why would he be so upset with people? I mean, he could just come out. I mean, he mad at me. I didn't do anything to him. You look happy. Stay like this. You know what? Why? Why would you have a problem? Just. It's hard. Make Just stay like this, bro. That's all you got to do. Just stay like this.
ridiculous. This whole thing is ridiculous. There's no need for this. There's no need for this. Again, here's the question that many of you must ask. Where did he get the outfit from? Where did he get the outfit from? That's what somebody needs to find out. Where did he get the outfit from? Where did he get it? I still remember dead ass. The first time I saw this video, the first, I don't know about y'all, but the first time I saw this video, I was thinking, I was thinking this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look, Styles, I don't even. I'm gonna stop it right here, man. This is this is overkill right here. This is overkill right now, in the words of um, Men at Work. Cause day after day, you act queer. And night after night, you act just like this here. Go. <laughs> This is overkill, boy. Day after day, you act queer. <laughs> and night after night, you act just like this here. <laughs> this is overkill. I think that word is gay. <laughs> Tell it tiny dancer. <laughs> oh, 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 but we gotta ask the question: Where did he get this? Where did he get this outfit? Where did he get the outfit? Is all I want to know. You would have had to have this outfit already ready. What were you doing this for? Why? So many questions, so few answers. He had the hat, he was ready. I, I, don't, I, I really don't understand this. I, this is, um, is, is crazy to me. Just to watch it. And 
he won't give us any answers, but we would like to have some. It would be great if we could get some. If he could just tell us why he was doing it. We throw it in the towel. We throw it. It's done. It's done. No, what is done? All right. Stop the fight. Can we stop the fight now? I don't want to fight no more. I don't want to fight no more. I want it done. I want it over with. I don't want to fight with you no more. I don't want to argue with you no more. Can you please just throw in the damn towel? Throw it in. Why are you gay? <laughs> you you got this bitch in your house. You talk about you been with the same girl for twenty five years. We can hear this big heavy breathing bitch in the background. Bitch seems like she just needs several bits of oxygen. Like where you live, the oxygen particles are not very strong. She be struggling to breathe. <sighs> I'm waiting on this bitch to say, Luke, I'm your father in the background. Big heavy breathing hoe. Y'all need to be moving on up soon. Your number I'm start calling you George and she wheezy. <laughs> Fucking your girl breathing like that for.
Styles is moving on up on your backside. He trying to put his dick in your hide. Styles will jump on your penis and put your dick in his grill. Uh, then get on to YouTube and try to act like he real. Now you up and you cut sand. <laughs> as long as you act just like this, we gon' know that you like crack. Cause they moving on up to your backside. <laughs> And he got your legs pointed to the sky. He moving on up. He moving on up to your backside. He's sweeter than a piece of mom's pie. You sweeter than mom's apple pie. You cannot break. Look, Negro. There's you know you's a, a you 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 straight gay. You know, no man does this on accident. Now, I could even understand if you if you said, well, you got paid for it. I don't understand that. You didn't get paid. You did this shit for free. You did this gay shit for free. 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 Looking like you want the D. D. Oh, y'all want to be over here with people watching so bad. Does you do you feel bad, um, Lamar? Do you feel bad coming over here or any other ones? Y'all feel bad? You did this gay shit for free. You did this queer shit for free. Nobody had to pay you. This nigga said, "I gladly do this for free." God, dog. No. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for being here about this bullshit. Hopefully you have fun and enjoy it. If you hear anything for Styles, he better explain this shit. Styles got too much suspect shit out there. You don't keep on saying this gay ass shit and then keep trying to call somebody else gay. Leave people alone. Upgrade that big old bitch you with and get the nigga that, that was fucking your girl. Sound like that's who you want to be with. That's why you're talking about everybody else, girl, because you don't have one. And I would mean by a man. You lying. He didn't just make a video explaining this. Stop fucking with me. You lying. Yeah, I was, I was told he just made a video explaining this shit. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. No. I, yo, he did. Y'all want to hear it? Let, let's listen to it. He said he just, they, he just made a video. Let's, let's listen. Yeah. <laughs> Dudes, dudes, whoa, I'm like getting some really, really heavy negative vibes from you guys. Like everyone's playing the video of me showing my taco meat with my cowboy hat on, getting my sexy on. You guys got a problem with sexy? Is that it? You don't like the way I moved? You didn't like my sensual gyrations and pelvic thrusts. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm doing it right now. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Dude. You guys are like way, way, way super gay, bro. Like, I was doing a show, bro, and we were talking about like how people used to dress in the 70s, bro, in the disco, and they'd be like overly sexy and like dancing off suggestively, bro. And that's what that was. I was mimicking like people, the stuff that we used to see back in the disco days, bro. And wow, like you guys are like, like gonna take it and run with it and like, Turn me into some type of flame? Like, no! I'm showing my sexy! You got a problem with sexy, man? Uh! 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 I'm doing it right now. Uh! Yeah! 
my pelvic thrusts and my sensual gyrations. You guys got a problem with sexy. That's what that was. Too many of y'all been playing that clip. Hey, listen, that animal magnetism, that raw macho that you saw pouring out of that, all, all of that love and sensualness that you saw coming up off that screen, that was not for men. That's lady sauce. Men should not want lady sauce. Cause y'all got a problem with sexy. Dude! You got a problem with sexy. I'm a sexy beast. I don't give a fuck what you guys say. I'm too sexy for your comments. Too sexy for your vlogs. Too sexy for your shit. I'm a bottle, you know what I mean? And I do my little thing on YouTube. On YouTube. Uh, 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 I'm doing it again. Uh, uh, on YouTube. Yeah, I shake my big old dick on YouTube. Do, 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 do. Now, seriously, I can be just as goofy as you motherfuckers, probably more. Y'all need to fucking relax, man. If I'm sitting on my show, entertaining my crowd, and I do something wild that you see is suspect or questionable, you need to check yourself, dog. Half you motherfuckers don't even have half the confidence to do what I do. I've worn wigs, done characters, and the whole motherfucking night. But y'all supposed to be radio hosts and motherfucking comedians and all of that. Y'all supposed to be the motherfuckers who have multiple dimensions on this media shit. But I show you that it's fucking easy. You got a problem with sexy, my sensual gyrations, and my pelvic thrust. Uh, 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 I'm doing it again. <laughs> Goodbye, homo. You crying out to me. Goodbye, homo. gave an expert so styles we know you're watching styles would you like to come on the show we know you're watching so styles is watching right now you would like to come in on the show bro y'all are clicking the shit out of that cash app i didn't even know that's what that was thank you guys for for, for clicking that cash app that is awesome you, but you know what they say man. everything is awesome got a 20 dollars, 25 dollars by nicholas RA put five on it, one dollar from Julian, one two dollars from Damien. My man Sun Grown in the building put five dollars on it. Said he hope I'm smoking good tonight. You know I will be. It's Friday night. Ash or dash. Smoking it up, smoking it up all day. It's Friday night. <laughs> I'm smoking. Michael put ten dollars on it. Miss Heather put ten dollars on it. Dorico put five. Asher Dash put four. Laura put two. Jerome put five. Franz put eight. Let's get free, put twenty. Darcy says she's speechless. This is crazy. So, but Styles, we know you watching because you made that video while I was live. So that lets you know he's watching, right? Like it's not a joke. So for all those people who wanted to know if this was a joke, he confirmed it. This fool said, y'all listen to what he said. He said, uh, we were having a discussion about the 70s. So he went and got a whole outfit from where? This is why they don't want to have a real conversation with me. This is why they'd rather just name call. He said that during a live show, they were having a discussion about the 70s. So where'd he get the outfit from? Keep it in the closet. The next time you think about that outfit, Styles, I want you to do me a favor and just keep it in the closet. There's something about you not what that may 
please me won't do say that you gay keep it in the closet But how does he have that? You don't just have that for somebody to have a random conversation. You was ready for this conversation to be had. Then he want to talk about 70s outfits. Niggas in the 70s didn't dress like that. Who know anything about the 70s? That's not how people in the 70s dress. Somebody tell me if I'm lying. People in the 70s did not dress like that. That is not how people in the 70s dress. It's a lie. Nobody in the, in the 70s dressed like that. That is not 70s outfit. Now, if he said he was trying to mimic what the brothers was doing in the 90s, in, in the 80s, he could have gotten that. He could have gotten away with that for a little bit. But then they weren't dancing like that. Right, bell bottoms and tie dye. He just made that up. Shout out to New Zealand. But nobody in the 80s was dancing like that. No straight people were dancing like that. Not in a straight club. Yes, not in a straight club. That was the difference. There was a lot of gay people and straight people, and they all looked alike because the 80s was the age of androgyny. But the two never met. If you were in the 80s, the two never met. The gays went here. The straights went here. They didn't, they didn't mix together. So sometimes the straights would hang out with the gays so you would not know they were gay. But the straights wouldn't go. I mean, sometimes the gays would hang out with the straights so you wouldn't know they were gay. But it didn't go the other way around. Just like the people in Queen. They were like, we didn't know what Freddie did. We know he did it and we didn't go there. How many of y'all from the 80s know that that's what the 80s was? Like you had gay, you had gay friends. You knew they did gay shit. You just didn't meet them there. They just went to go do their gay shit in their gay spots. They went to their gay shit. They did their gay stuff. If you listen to the band of Queen, they was like, we didn't know what this motherfucker was doing. We knew he was gay. We weren't there. We didn't go. Every time he did wild shit, we did. Even in the movie, when you saw him do that big old gay ass party, what did they, what did they do? They got the fuck out. <laughs> they said, no, that's too much. They left. The band came to his house. He was throwing this big old party. They saw this queer shit. They ducked out. You ask them to this day, they said, we knew he was gay. We didn't go around that gay shit. Right, they were gay in their gay places. They did gay shit in gay spots and you knew what they were. They let it be known, don't come here. Don't go there. You might have slipped up and walked in one of these places because you didn't know. But when you were, and you didn't get mad. That, uh, but guys, you got to understand that was the good part about the 80s. We didn't get mad. You just didn't go. That's it. You accepted that's what they do. And they accepted that if you showed up in there, you wanted that drilling. Whoa, 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 what a feeling, that drilling. You go up in the gay club and they, whoa, what a feeling when they poking and drilling. Whoa, what a feeling. They be poking and a drilling. Right, you walk in the club and you hear, dun, 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 dun. You, you knew what it was. Say, trying to make America gay again. You knew what it was when you walked in the club. <laughs> Just sit there and say, when you saw them cocaine and gerbils in the club, you knew what it was. They didn't have to have a sign. You just knew what it was by the, by the aesthetics. You walk in and you see the aesthetics. She's like, okay, well, you know, I, you didn't get mad. You didn't yell and scream. Like she said, when you saw the gerbil and the cocaine, you knew what was about to go down. And if you stayed, it was you.
Should've known better than to bring your ass in here. Cause this place is just for faggots and them queers. Should've known better. <laughs> when you walked in here, it was a big mistake. When they looked at you like a piece of cake. You never should've worn that shirt unzipped. And now you got one of those gamers dick up on your lip. Should've known better. <laughs> you should've known better. Oh, you just should have known better, man. Oh. <laughs> it's that queer eye. To, it's that queer eye for the cat guy. Oh, queer eye for the stray cats. The niggas out here doing the stray cat strut in your butt. He doing the stray cat strut in your butt. $80 sent to you for everything for Candace. Thank you, Candace. Michael put $10 on it. Say, keep up the hard work. I'll uh, keep up the good work. Excuse me. CHM put $14 and a penny. Uh, said for entertainment. And Raymond put $15 said it's funny as fuck. <laughs> oh my God. I didn't even really, I, this wasn't supposed to last this long. It really wasn't. Y'all want to hear the encore of his song? Before I leave, y'all want me to encore his song, that number one song in the country? I just want to hear his explanation again. I don't understand it. Y'all, listen, he's watching right now. What you, Tim Scott, what you know about Brusky Beat? Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Styles. Run away, cause you gay, run away, cause you gay, run away. <laughs> you got on YouTube and wore them gay ass clothes. And now you are trying to explain that bullshit. But we know from the way you act and use a hoe. <laughs> run away, cause you gay. Run away, run away, cause you gay. And that song is literally about a gay ass dude. <laughs> oh, it's just the fact that song was like about a straight up gay dude. <laughs> Gorilla said he can't take it. He driving. He said he got to stop this shit. It's just to listen. Thank you, darling Joe. It's just to listen to him dis to explain this shit. I don't understand. What kind of explanation is this? Styles, we know you watching. You made this dumbass video. Why did you? Why? 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 Tell us cause this homo nature. Why? Why? Are you acting so gay? We want to know why, why? Tell us it's just homo nature. Why, why are you acting so gay? Do you like living this way? Why, why not what? Dude, dude, whoa. <laughs> I'm like getting some really, really heavy negative vibes from you guys. Hold on a second. Like Fuck everyone's this shit. playing the video. If he gonna describe it, we should at least show it, damn it. 
That's the least we could do. If he gonna describe it, the least we could do. Oh. The least we could do is show it. As he described what you're seeing now. Here we go. Dude. Dude. Whoa. I'm like getting some really, really heavy negative vibes from you guys. Like everyone's playing the video of me showing my taco meat with my cowboy hat on, getting my sexy on. You guys got a problem with sexy? Is that it? You don't like the way I moved? You don't like my sensual gyrations and pelvic thrusts? Oh yeah. Oh, uh, I'm doing it right now. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, uh. yeah. Dude, you guys are like way, way, way super gay, bro. Like, I was doing a show, bro, and we were talking about like how people used to dress in the 70s, bro, in the disco, and they'd be like overly sexy and like dancing off suggestively, bro. And that's what that was. I was mimicking like people and stuff that we used to see back in the disco days, bro. And wow, like, you guys are like, like gonna take it and run with it and like turn me into some type of flame. Like, no, I was showing my sexy. You got a problem with sexy, man. Uh, 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 I'm doing it right now. Uh, yeah. My pelvic thrusts and my sensual gyrations. You guys got a problem with sexy. That's what that was. Too many of y'all been playing that clip. Hey, listen. That animal magnetism, that raw macho that you saw pouring out of that, all, all of that love and sensualness that you saw coming up off that screen, that was not for men. That's lady sauce. Men should not want lady sauce. Wait a minute, he said that's not for men, that's lady sauce. The fact that he said lady sauce is gay. He said that's not for men, when the truth of the matter is, the majority of his audience are men. Now, they, the majority of your audience is men. The majority of his audience is men. Men. Goodbye, homo. <laughs> I'm crying over you. Goodbye, homo. Because y'all got a problem with sexy. Dude. You got a problem with sexy. I'm a sexy beast. I don't give a fuck what you guys say. I'm too sexy for your comments. Too sexy for your vlogs. Too sexy for your shit. How many of y'all have noticed everybody trying to sing? Now, last night he clung, he complained. I hate when this nigga sing. He sang too much. And his whole audience sat right there and said, yeah, we hate when this nigga sing. Yeah, every one of them trying to sing now. How many of y'all seen that nigga in Indianapolis? You know what I mean? Now he trying to play songs during when he's talking as the song is supposed to remind you of what he just said. How many people understand how much I've changed the fucking landscape, ho? Everybody's trying to do this shit now, claiming how horrible it was. I hate when he sang. He can't sing. I'm tired of that singing. Singing, singing, singing. Now what are these niggas doing? The exact same shit. That nigga True Seaman set up there now, he trying to pull up songs and play them right in the middle. And he's so clumsy with it, he does a horrible damn job. But he damn sure trying. I'm a bottle, you know what I mean? And I do my little thing on YouTube. On YouTube. Uh, 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 I'm doing it again. Uh, uh, on YouTube. Yeah, I shake my big old dick on YouTube. Now, seriously, I can be just as goofy as you motherfuckers, probably more. Y'all need to fucking relax, man. If I'm sitting on my show, entertaining my crowd, and I do something wild that you see is suspect or questionable, you need to check yourself, dog. Half you motherfuckers don't even have half the confidence to do what I do. 
a woman. He said it took you. He is just tell yo, y'all, he's just like a woman. He just sat there and said that what he's doing takes confidence. He said it takes confidence to do it. He said, y'all don't have the cojones to do it. Y'all lame. Y'all some hoes. Y'all some bitches. Y'all ain't manly as him. So everything he does is right. Everything anybody else does is wrong. He date a fat bitch is okay. He date a ugly bitch is okay. His girl dark skin, but it ain't the same. Everything he does, it's okay. He doesn't have anything to show for none of what he's done. He beat his girl ass. He walked in on his girl cheating on him. All of this stuff is fine for him. Do you think he would have said that shit if he saw me do a video like this? This the same nigga that claim I got punked by Tyreek. This the same nigga that claim I got punched in the face in um up in um what's that called Harlem this is the same cat do you think I would have done a video like this and he would have been able to say well you know at least a man he's a comedian so we can let that go you know the guys it, it, actually what he's doing is showing you guys how strong he can be mentally do you think he'd have done that with all the videos he's made about any damn thing that's happened to me whether it's my girl we broke up or anything do you think he would have said eh, give the man a pass this is showing that he's he's able to try new new things this motherfucker just said this. You need to check yourself, dog. Half you motherfuckers don't even have half the confidence to do what I do. If you don't like his dancing with his shirt off, you need to check yourself. Check it, check yourself. You need to check yourself, dog. Half you motherfuckers don't even have half the confidence to do what I do. I've worn wigs, done characters, and the whole motherfucking nine. But y'all supposed to be radio hosts and motherfucking comedians and all of that. Y'all supposed to be the motherfuckers who have multiple dimensions on this media shit. But I show you that it's fucking easy. You got a problem with sexy, Jesus my sensual gyrations, and my pelvic thrust. Uh, 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 uh. I'm doing it again. Jesus Christ. <laughs> And the next thing that came on after that was Queen. So that's his explanation, ladies and gentlemen. And here you go. If you really want to shoot, come with your knee up. It was really nice. Peter's got me moaning. This song is hilarious. Peter's got me. Peter's got me. Peter's got me moaning. Stick that big D in my ass Come gang, come shot Big dick, big come stay Who's straight? No way Penis game, check my mood, eh Squirt, squirt Penis got me booty up Lock it up Double pump, big D Can't get enough Been enough, been a come Drink it up Suck it till the death bus Come shot Penis got me Fuck on my day ones Been in never giving dick as I take one Want that penis, baby, only the shame was He ain't put me back when he was straight, huh? Yeah, you know I do my dance On the dick, take a shit, come drip Suck his dick, let that dick chip Nut it up, rub it up Beat me over, then he fuck my butt That drippy, 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 drippy Nut dick chip, till he ski, huh? Riding academics, bet his dick come, huh? If you really wanna shoot, come with your knee, up. Huh? It was really nice, morning loud, but I see ya I'm a ski, I pray to God that I'm drinking with my feet I pray to God that that penis go deep Praying that your main nigga put his hands on me Used to cut my booty rough, now he clapping on my cheek I ain't straight, are you straight nigga? Turn you gay nigga Dick so good, make my booty jump nigga All I do is fuck niggas and I suck niggas Come gang, suck you up nigga Bet you not quick, I stick that big D in my ass Come gang, come shot Big dick, big come stay Who's straight? No way, penis game, check my mood, eh? Squirt, squirt, penis got me booty up, like it rough, double pump, big D, can get enough, get enough. Okay. Styles wants to explain this. This is. I just. <laughs> I didn't find this song. This song was. This whole thing was given to me.
Somebody got a, a a channel called Bambi Sotomayor, so I guess they used it just to put up this video. I don't know why they named their channel after my cat. These motherfuckers are still going too far with this, this bullshit. I don't know the name of that song. The nigga named Bambi Sotomayor who got his channel. He the one put the song on there. I don't know it. This shit is... He was dead serious. You heard what he said? He said, y'all don't have confidence to be able to do what he do. Y'all some whole ass niggas. Y'all some whole niggas. That's what happened. Y'all some whole niggas. Y'all y'all don't get it. Y'all some hoes. Not him. Y'all. I hey Nut Ward, I bet you won't call and talk to me on the show though. Let's have a real conversation. Nut Ward, let's have a real conversation. I, I would just love to have a real conversation with you. Let, let's just, let's talk about it. You you want to talk about it? I can, I can put, I put my number on the screen. You call it. You want to discuss it? <laughs> come in the comment section, Nut Ward. Just come on in here, man. Or I can come on to your show. I can come over to your show. I, I give you some numbers. I come over there and we, we can talk and, and maybe we can kill this. Can we kill this now? We, we know you watching Nut War because you literally made this video while I was talking about it. So you watching it. So all I want to know, bro, can we can we talk right now and it's just going to kill this? Or I can let the audience um, talk about the video and talk about what they think. I, and look, I won't. I, come on, bro. Let's 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 hash it all out right now. Let's hashtag it. Let's hash this all out right now and get it off the table like men. No more of these gay jokes. No more of that stuff. Yeah, no yelling. Just simply as grown men now who 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 played the dozens online and went back and forth. And now maybe we can just show the world that we are adults and we'd like to go about this completely different. Can we do that? <laughs> But did somebody say, bro, you should have put that outfit on and made a video with you and Miss B busting a groove on them. The sector will explode for like three days, then it'll all be over because they won't have shit else to talk about. The great thing about Styles is he will always give you something to talk about. Styles is the gift they keep on giving. Like, he, I don't think he knows how to stop. He, he honestly doesn't know how to stop. I don't know why. Yet somebody said that song should be illegal. <laughs> Dana said that song should be illegal. <laughs> so Styles, look, look, man, come on, man. And, and where old Clark? Uh, Clark, Mr. Clark. You remember you said you hope he would slap me? Do you still believe he's not doing this stuff now? Hmm? Come on, cat man. He probably is Dr. Doctor. I'm wondering, like, because Doctor came in here, he was he was taking off of this bro. He was like, I hope he slap you. Like I was bothering this dude. Like, dude that did anything to me. I'm just a bully. Which I've never been. That's one thing I you can think I am with the ethers and stuff like that. But in, in, in all honesty, I've I've never been a bully. I don't even like bullies. 
That's why y'all see at the end of this, I'm trying to, you know, kill it. And after that video, I'm trying to kill it with fire. But I'm just saying, bro, let's 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 go on and squash this, man. This is this gonna kill this draw. Let's let's let this let's let this go. You and me. Let's let let's go and kill it. We can't do that. That's all I want to know. Can can we do that, bro? Yeah, he 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 he's not saying anything. He I I don't I don't know what's going on. I'm going to help you out, Styles. Y'all could, uh, this is his explanation video. I'm going to put the link in it. I'm going to put the link out there. Y'all go over there and make sure y'all leave a comment and a thumbs down. Leave a comment. Tell them we need, tell them, say you and Tommy need to hash this out. Go over there and tell them, leave a comment, leave a thumbs down. Leave your comment, leave your thumbs down. There's video, you go over there and check it out. Uh, that's the one of him describing what he was doing as he's sexy and that was manly. And y'all got a problem because y'all didn't um, enjoy it. There's his channel and everything right there. So he said it's, it's y'all's problem because y'all didn't enjoy it. So maybe y'all can go over there and... Um, Leave your thumbs down and um, you can leave a comment in the comment section. Let him know. Now, I know Jack uh, J28, but I would hope he would want to kill this 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 uh, beef because he got to walk around in real life. And if he keep doing this, I'm telling you that big old bitch he wig going to eventually say this is ridiculous. How many of you women out there after a while would, would honestly say to the dude that you was with who was doing this, this is ridiculous. Like eventually you say, no, no, this is kind of stupid. I think any rational woman after a while would say, no, I'm, I'm out. I can deal with the you got a baby by another abroad, but then the fact you go online and tell it. It's one thing if you do your dirt. It's another thing if you to go online and tell it and make me look stupid. And any normal woman right now would be like, nah, I'm good on this, man. You you know. I'm good on this, pimp. This is too much. Luther Vandross, he never saw this when he was saying it's never too much. Wait a minute. Uh, hold on, Jesse Lee. You just lied. Jesse Lee, I didn't tell them to go flag his channel. Uh, unblock him for a second. Jesse Lee, why did you just tell that lie? All right, y'all, we got 52 dislikes. Y'all, uh, let's see if we can get to 100. Nope, I did not tell people to flag his video at all. Nope. I said, leave a thumbs down, tell him, come over here and let's have a talk. I figured a thumbs down will get his attention and come and talk will get his attention. Because if he get thumbs up, he's just going to think it's good. 
So I put, put the thumbs down. But I have no reason to flag his video. Why would I flag his video? He didn't do anything to me. I don't even flag the videos when they do something to me, when they talk. I just let them talk. I think this is all fun TV. We could put we could put um Amazon Prime out of business, Amazon Video out of business. We could put Hulu out of business with this. Now, we don't need to flag him. This man is 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 great content. Flag him is stupid. You don't flag great content, you enjoy it. I'm not a bully, Jesse Lee. And if I did what you were saying, it wouldn't make me a bully to do it. If the small man keeps coming at me and saying they're going to flag me, what would it mean? It was, are you telling me because I'm bigger than them, I shouldn't go flag them? Although I'm, I don't, but I'm asking you a question. Like, don't you think that's odd that they can get together as small groups and say, go flag him. But as a big person, I'm supposed to take the high road and not flag them. Like, so, cause that's what you're saying would make me a bully. If I defended myself from their actions. Cause that's all I do is defend myself from their action. I heard it. I do better off my best shows, my best numbers all are with me talking about something else other than this shit. I just have out of a childish nature, feel the need to keep responding to idiots. which is a problem. Got to admit it. Dion says, can I bring back the beastie hunter? You mean, um, Jacques Negro? I can. Kanisha sent $10. Johnny said, nut ward needs your therapy session. $5. Haven put $10 on it. Said, play that gay ass song again. <laughs> I got it. They got my size hurt. <laughs> that song gay a bitch. Kenneth put $10 on and said, wow, styles look like an extra for the blue oyster, says LeVar. Listen, I don't know why he did this. I don't. I don't know why he did that. And I don't know why he did. And I don't know why he did this. Four days. And in that four days, I find out that this woman has an entire another life that she's living. I didn't believe the shit. I went to the address. I go to the door. I kick the door in. She's in there with this dude. The dude has my clothes. They have my furniture in this house. I've seen this cat before. When dude sees me, he stands up. I'm 6'4". I'm in decent shape now. At the time, this dude was about 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, if, if he was an inch. I'll give him about 270, 280. The nigga looked like he was chiseled from marble. I am no parts of a homosexual. Pause. This was a fucking gorgeous man. I'm talking about this man was like perfection. I'm talking about this dude was perfection. I'm talking about completely perfect body. You know what I'm saying? He had this like this this bugged out olive, you know what I'm saying, complexion. I'm talking about he was a very handsome guy, man. You know what I'm saying Pause. curly fucking hair, nice fucking um, facial features, real nice trimmed up, cleaned up shit, in real good shape. Standing there in his motherfucking boxer briefs, dude. And I'm not gonna front, and I'm not. I'm not take a break behind this. This dude, low that he holding in this motherfucking boxer brief. 
my business in a motherfucking negligee I ain't never seen before. And all I could think was, this dude been fucking the shit out your bitch. And I lost my mind. Dude was huge. Tall, handsome guy. And as a man, I can be honest and say it like, you know, we don't want to talk about that shit. But when you're looking at a dude, you don't have that tunnel vision. You get that wide lens. So you're looking at everything. You're looking at this, how this nigga look, his face, his hair, how handsome he is, the shape he in. Yeah, you ain't no no gay shit like this nigga got a motherfucking huge goddamn bulge here, some boxer briefs on some sexy shit. If it sound gay, it's gay. And you gotta say no homo. They heard you knocking on the door. He probably just got to be fucking your bitch. I'm friends with the monster that's under my bed. Bruh. You look at your girl, she got a look that she ain't never had before. An outfit on you ain't never seen before. Like, you a whole nother sexy bitch for this nigga, huh? I went to hungry for I went to bed hungry for this bitch. I can't count how many times. I broke myself down to give this bitch every motherfucking thing that she wanted. And that shit made me start crying. Like, I done did everything for you. I've been with you five years. And I just turned around and I lost my mind on her. And I left. What he telling y'all is, and y'all, this was his version of the story. Y'all, did I make this up or was that his version of the story? In his version of the story, just so people will understand, he beat the girl up at the end. Y'all understand this? In his version of, of the story, he beat the girl up. Aslam sent $5. Said, peace, my brother. Antonio sent a dollar. Yes, I got it. Rodney said, fuck this cat face bitch. Do y'all understand? He described the scene and he said he beat the girl up and then he left. You went in this woman's house because it wasn't your house. It was this woman's house. You found this woman, your own words, found this woman, broke her door to get in the door. Once you got in the door, you paid so much attention to the dude that you beat her up. Billy Goat said he never got his wrench back. Michael put $5 on it. You beat the girl up in her place with her new man. Yes, he found out where she lived, broke in her house. This is what happened. This is not made up shit. This is not my spin on it. This is what he said. That's the difference between his diss and my diss. His diss of me is false, made up, but he finds funny. My diss of him is true, his words, and it is funny. I'm not saying he should have beat the dude up. I'm not saying he should have beat anybody up. What I'm saying is when you break up in somebody's house, apparently if they had left you and you didn't know where they were, they already broke up with you, did they not? They already broke up with you. If I change your lock, if I change my lock, big bitch don't come kick the door in. I change the lock. 
If you got a text message from you saying it's over, then it's over. I hit you with the Luther Vandross. We should be good. It's over now. It's over, bitch. You treated me so bad. Hey, it's all over, baby. It's over now, bitch. I know how hard it is to have a bitch break up with you. I know. I done sit up there and called on all my phones. Pick up the phone, bitch. Pick up the phone. I'm up here calling from this phone. This bitch black and I call from this one. She pick up the phone. I'll be like, I never thought that it wouldn't be. Hello? Damn it. Call from this other phone. Hello? You would turn and do this to me. How can this love we have live between us? Oh, shit. Hello? Fuck. Get another phone. Hello? Merely fade away. You told me you never go away. And for me, you'd always be here. Then you tell me there's something wrong. Then you must move on. A lonely heart. Hello? Shit. Hold on. Stop calling me is what I feel And no one cares for me And let me show you now The way that it would Hello? Fuck! I tell you to stop calling me If you were with me now I, I can feel the love we share when you say it's not there deep inside, I know that you will still care. But I need you to show me now. <laughs> Let me show you now the way that it would be if you are or we belong together. And you know that I'm right Why do you play with my heart? Why do you play with my mind? Said we'd be forever Said it never die. Why do you love me and leave me and never say goodbye? If I could sleep at night without holding you tight, girl, each time I try, I just break down and cry. Pain in my head, oh, I'd rather be dead. Spinning the new round and the new round. <laughs> I shot some car on the end of your nose and all over your clothes. It's so nasty, girl. It's all over you. It's all over me. What is it? Come on the end. <laughs> I put some cum on the end of your nose. And all on your clothes No, 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 no No, 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 no <laughs> I put some cum On the end of your nose And all over your clothes It's all over you <laughs> It's so nasty, girl. It's all over you. It's all over me. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know, but I know I'm gonna put some cum on the end of the nose and all over your clothes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let me go get a towel, baby, baby. 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 Whoa. Whoa. I shot some cum on the. <laughs> all right, all right. 
is so nasty now. It's all over you. It's all over me too. Whoa. I just don't come on me and of your nose and all on your clothes. No, 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 no. I will ruin your song. I will ruin your song. Oh. <laughs> But look, I, I just got to say this. Apparently, he's not going to. I, I've been waiting. I've been waiting for a fag like you to call into my show. Yeah, waiting for you to explain this gay ass video i've been waiting for a nigga like you to call into my show man waiting for a nigga like you to explain this gay video Do y'all understand why they, even though they try to do what I do, they can't? Because my music library is too big and I've been doing this for so long, so it's second hand. That's the problem. It's, I'm not trying to do it. Somebody said, I got to hit him with the, I'm still waiting for you to come back to love. To fulfill this life we're dreaming of, so don't wait. Another day might be too long. Don't rush, go slow so nothing goes wrong. Listen, babe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't wait to feel your love again So you can stop this gay ass dancing nut boy Ooh yeah So just start all over And put the past behind And don't dance on you to no other Time. I'm still waiting, nigga, to you to take down this shit, yeah. So don't wait another day. It might, it might be too long. Yeah, don't tell me your favorite song. I'm going to fuck your song up. Don't you do it. Just let this shit go. Let this, let this thing in. Somebody said I'm off key. I'm always off key, man. I ain't supposed to sound just like the damn album. The people on the album don't sound just like the album. I like when people say that. Have you ever seen the people saying this shit? They ain't saying that shit like they did. That's music work. You ever been to a motherfucker's live concert? They ain't hitting them damn notes. It's rare. I heard him, I heard Sting saying live. He sound like shit. They don't sound like, like Sting. 
fuck is this? You can't hit them motherfucking notes. Go to one of them niggas live shows. See if they sound like the album. I don't know what's wrong with him. Well, he ain't going to call a guy, so apparently I'm going to stop right there. I did all I could. He's not calling. He's not calling in, so. And this person said, please, can I call in? You sure can. If you if you send a donation, you can call in as long as you like. I'll speak as long as you like. But since you don't, then you can ride out. I'll be back, guys. Well, before we leave, though. Oh, no. Beaters got me moaning. Beaters got me. Beaters got me. Beaters got me moaning. Stick that big D in my ass. Come gang, come shot. Big, 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 come stay. Who's straight? No way. Penis game, check my mood day. Square, square. Penis got me booty up. Like it rough. Double pump, big dick, can't get enough Been enough, been a clump, jerk it up Suck it till the death bus, come shop Penis got me, fuck on my day ones Been in never giving dick as I take one Want that penis, baby, only the shame ones He ain't put me back when he was straight, huh? Yeah, you know I do my dance, on the dick Take a shit, come drip, suck his dick Let that dick chip, nut it up Rub it up, beat me over, then he fuck my butt That drippy, 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 drippy Now I'm big tip, till he ski, huh? Riding academics, bet this dick come, huh? If you really wanna shoot, come lick your knee, up. Huh? It was really nice, morning loud, but I see ya huh? I'm a ski, I pray to God that I'm drinking with my feet I pray to God that that penis go deep Praying that your main nigga put his hands on me he Used to call my booty rough, now he clapping on my cheek I ain't straight, are you straight, nigga? Turn you gay, nigga. Dick so good, make my booty jump, nigga. All I do is fuck, niggas, then I suck, niggas. Come gang, suck you up, nigga. Bet you not quicker. Stick that big D in my ass. Come gang, come shot. Big, 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 come stay. Who's straight? No way. Penis game, check my mood, eh? Square, square. Penis got me booty up, like it rub. Double pump, big. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Nut Ward. Have a good evening. Right, whammy.